<laughs> anyway, um, this is a, a song up. It's, uh, there's a town called Coleraine, and a very good friend of mine lived in Coleraine, and he went to Derry, like 14 miles, and I lived in Surban, and I went 14 miles, and I've always liked Coleraine. Anyway, as beautiful Kitty one morning was tripping with a pitcher of milk to the ferry in Coleraine. When she saw me, she stumbled, the pitcher it tumbled, and all the sweet buttermilk it watered the plain. Ah, what will I do now? It was looking at you now. Sure, such a fine pitcher I'll never see again. It was the pride of my dairy, ah, Barney McClary, you're sent as a play to the girls in Coleraine. I sat down beside her and gently did chide her that such a misfortune should cause her such pain. A kiss that I gave her and ere I did leave her, she vowed for such pleasure she'd do it again. <laughs> T'was haymaking season, I can't tell the reason, misfortune will never come singly to plain. For very soon after, poor Kitty's disaster, the devil a pitcher was holding cold rain. <laughs> I'll tell you a little bit. Um, the, when I was growing up in Ireland, the, uh, the wake, the, when, when someone died, obviously you had to die first. Uh, when they died, they just lay, they put them in a, like a bronze shroud, women and men, and they laid them out on their bed in the house before they went wherever they were going. Anyway, um, this, 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 her husband died. And this guy went in to say his routine was you knelt down, said your prayers, and then you went and drank Guinness or whatever and had a great time. Anyway, this one guy went up there and he was kneeling, and he came back all excited and he said to the, to the wife, I, I just saw his eye twitching. And she says, dead or alive, he's going out of here tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, one more. You ready? Ready for one more? Sure, sure. Uh, okay. <laughs> the, um, the Murphys were, um, they rented a, a, a place one day, and they rented a place by the railroad track, okay? And one day the landlord came by, and she said to him, you know, I, I can't stand this. The, the noise, they were almost shook me out of the bed. He says, no, I can't believe that. And she says, well, there's a train coming in a little bit. I'm going to lay down and show you. And she, she said, why don't you lay down beside me? So the guy laid down. By that time, Murphy walked in and he says, what's going on in here? And the, the landlord says, you won't believe this, but we're waiting on a train. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was waiting for the patty jokes. <laughs> okay.